Hi everyone, my name is Akelia. Thank you for coming to my page. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on my two favorite lavender fragrances. And they're actually my two favorite bottles. But um, yeah, so if you're interested in this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and continue watching. So let's get this on. Okay, so today, yeah, I love lavender first of all lavender well i first fell in love with lavender when it came to like home scents like candles and air fresheners and even like fabuloso who do not love fabuloso i mean i don't know i clean my house with fabuloso mop my floors with fabuloso and that lavender in it it was just i loved it i don't know lavender is not a scent that everybody like but i love it i feel like it's calm and it's fresh it's aromatic it's just there it just calms me and it just makes it just feels clean and, and i just started gravitating to buying a whole bunch of candles every candle that i buy it like 90 percent of my candles that i purchase it has to have some sort of lavender whether if it's lavender vanilla lavender lemon lavender mango lavender citrus lavender something but it has to have some sort of lavender all lavender you know so searching perfumes that have lavender and i found a few i tend to say that lavender is like mostly in men fragrances but i'm gonna just talk about my two favorite perfumes and i'm gonna start off with beauty gem right here which is mason lancome's lavender's trying on i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right lavender's trying on <laughs> but here goes oh, it's a fingerprint magnet but here we go oh look at this beautiful beautiful bottle look at the back the side has these little gold plated details of lavender and look at the top, let me show you the top. The top says Paris Mason Lancome right here. So it's just gorgeous. And this scent right here, oh my God. Oh, it's like, honest to God, and it's, the cap is magnetic, like it's a magnetic cap. This is a big, heavy bottle, weighted bottle and the cap, I, I don't have to, I could dangle it and it doesn't fall off. Um, this is actually a, no, this is a 3.4, so this is 100 ml. And actually, sorry guys, but this fragrance is discontinued. Yes, it's discontinued, but you can still buy it on Fragrance Buy. That's where I got it from. And this scent is just so amazing. Like, first of all, it's more like a vanilla, milky, sweet lavender. Like... I'm not gonna lie. I wear this almost every day when I'm at home. I wear it after I get out the shower. I put this on to sleep. Granted, for the price of this bottle, you probably like, yeah, girl, why are you wearing this to bed? But it just, I would wear it out, but I'm not going out every day where I wanna wear this. Like, I like this so much, like I wanna wear this as much as I can. And I have all my other perfumes that I can wear out, you know, when I'm going out, whatever. But this one here is just amazing. So I feel with this, like you can't, I'm not going to say you can blind buy it. Um, it. You have to like lavender. I feel like you have to have lavender because like you get hit with lavender and then it's milky. Like, it's like tonic because it, it's just sweet and it just stays on you. It just sits with lavender. Like, But it's creamy. It's comforting. It's soothing. It's just vanilla. Like, I can read you the notes, but I think the only three notes in this bad boy are lavender. There's two types of vanilla and milk like yeah that's all the notes i can actually pull it up hold on because i don't want to make sure i'm not bsing you with the notes in this one in accords are lavender vanilla lit tonic aromatic sweet fresh spicy and powdery i don't get powdery with this at all and it's unisex it's unisex but let me tell you the the notes yep the notes are lavender, vanilla, 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 sugar, Madagascar, vanilla, and milk. Those are the whole notes. And honestly, and that's what I'm getting with this perfume. It just smells so good. I would spray it on me now, but I'm going to take a shower and put it on, but I got on something else. The next fragrance I'm talking about, I have on, so I'm not going to spray it. I, I haven't tried mixing them yet because it's two different lavenders, but this is gorgeous. Like, I really love this, and this is just beautiful sitting on my vanity with all my other fragrances. Um, the longevity with this is real because when I go to bed, I spray it on my clothes. When I wake up, 
it's still on me it's still on my clothes um i don't really know about the sillage because honestly i never really wore this out in a crowd to see how the sillage is but i'm scared i'm smelling it on me i'm smelling it and it's unisex but i feel like this one is more i would say this one would gravitate more to a female in my opinion because it has that sweet that cookie like it smells like a lavender sweet cookie I mean, it would be nice to smell this on a man, but I feel like maybe a female. It's just great. I mean, the performance is really good. It's just delicious. It's just straight. <laughs> oh, man. And I feel like with the whole, it's like the scent lasts throughout the whole, from the first spray down to the dry down. Nothing really switches up on you. As with some fragrances, you have to wait until the dry down to get another note. I feel like you smell everything from the first spray down to the dry down. So yeah, so this is one of my favorite vanillas. I mean, I'm sorry, this is one of my favorite lavenders. This is this is Mason Lancome Lavandus Trianon, if I'm pronouncing it right. But yeah, and it's discontinued. Um, yes, I would buy this again when this is done. I will definitely buy this again if I can still find it on Fragrance Buy. And at a point, maybe if I even get down half to this bottle and I see that it's still on there, I may just buy it when I get to at least half of the bottle. I love it that much. Okay, so my next one here. Okay, I had this on my, on one of, I think it was on Saks, but it was on my favorites. Like, you know, when you can heart something and I had it on there. I remember seeing it last year prior to my birthday because I was saying that I wanted to buy this for my birthday. And then I forgot all about it. What caught the attention is because boom, it's lavender number one and then the bottle is just gorgeous. And I totally forgot about it. Like, I don't know how I forgot about it until recently I was, Saks was having a, um, yeah, they was having a friends and family sale and I, I was going through all my old, my list of all my favorites and I that popped up and I'm like, oh, holy shoot, I forgot that, forgot that they even came out with that scent. And it was still in my favorites and lo and behold, boom. Look at this baby, like, oh, come on. Come through, Tom Ford, come through. This is Tom Ford Lavender Extreme. And, oh my God, like this is lavender, like a lavender explosion, a lavender cloud, a lavender bubble. And it's just gorgeous, like, look at the mist, look at that. Oh. It just, Honest to God, like, you have to like lavender. You have to like lavender to get this one. I feel like this one you can get away with because it has the vanilla, the, the vanilla to it. So it has that little sweetness going on. But this one here is like lavender. And this is a 30, no, 50 ml, but it's unisex. But as I said with the... Lancome, that one is unisex, but I feel like more female. This one, I feel like more masculine as a, you know, for a unisex fragrance. And I mean, I wore this today and the longevity is really good. It lasts on me for about six hours. And the first three hours, you could still get good with on It's a skin and a clove scent. Um, like you're smacked with lavender with this one. Like, but it gets, but after that it gets calm and it's very aromatic. It's powdery. I feel like it has like a powdery note to it, and the dry down is still there. Like you smell a little of the tonka because it has tonka beans and all that other stuff, and it's spicy. But oh my god, I feel like it's not a chill fragrance. Like granted, because it's lavender, you think lavender is calming and relaxing, but this one you want to go outside with this. And I, in my opinion, I would wear this in the fall and the winter. I wouldn't wear this in the summer. Also with this one. Like this one, you could probably get away with this in the spring, cooler springs. But like I said, um, this one is fall as well. Fall, winter, maybe the cooler times, the cooler nights, temperatures of spring. But this as well. So both of them are actually more leaning towards fall and winter. This one just have that herbal with the sweetness to it. Oh, man. And honestly, for a Tom Ford, I didn't really hear much hype on this. So maybe that's why I forgot about it because I didn't hear a lot of hype to it. So that's, but when I seen it, I was like, F yeah, I gotta buy it. Like, how did I not remember to pick this one up? I think when 
I was looking at this, I ended up buying another MF k and a biretto so that's what happened that's what it was i think because i had wanted to smell it in the store and i was like you know because i'm trying to not to blind buy so much stuff because i want to have every single fragrance on my vanity that i love or like a lot i don't want to buy stuff and then i'm like and eh, give it away or it's just going to sit there i'm trying to make sure i use have usage to all my fragrances but yeah, so that's how I ended up forgetting because I think I ended up buying two other fragrances instead of this one and I just forgot about it. But when I seen it, I'm like, hell yeah. Like, and it's the perfect time of the year. And I love lavender. Like every, almost every freaking candle in my house smells like lavender. Why well, I don't want to smell like lavender. And I was like, and it has to smell really great. I mean, granted, Tom Ford is a hit or miss, but more of a hit. But they were saying that there's another dupe to this for lesser cause called Molinard Lavande. It's a little bit cheaper. You could save some bucks. I haven't smelt it, but um, it's a pretty lavender bottle as well. Not as gorgeous as this one. This is like extraordinary, extreme, like the name. Look at that bottle. It's like a fingerprint magnet as well. Ugh. I gotta keep wiping it down. It's gonna bother me. But this is just like a comfortable, fluffy, powdery, airy lavender bubble. Like the sea edge is there. The dry down is just nice. It's like you get a little pop of sweetness when it dries down, but you still get that lavender. Like you're getting that lavender from the top, the middle, the bottom, everywhere. I mean, to me, honestly, this one is either you like it or you don't. Blind buy, no, unless you like lavender. You can chance it if you like lavender, but if you're not a lavender person, you do not blind buy this if you don't care for lavender. Um, yeah, it's nothing like the Monger Lawn. Um, neither of them are like Mongrelon. Mongrelon is nice. It's sweet. It's more like a sweet, not generic, but sweet lavender, you know, more outgoing, more common. But these two lavenders are totally different. And this one here is very different. Um, you can smell it like right from the cap. Uh, let me see. This cap is okay. Not like my Lost Cherry where this is a little bit, this seems to be a little bit more magnetized on the cap because... My lost chair, you can't even do this. That shit's dropping out your hand. Like, you could do this with this one. And I'm shaking it and it's holding well. So maybe he, maybe it's just the lost cherry that sucks. I don't know. But this cap is good. Um, let me go over the notes real quick for you. I'm not going to tell you the price for this. You can go and search it up because, yeah, you can just Google it. I got mine from Saks. They, they were having a family and friends discount. So I got a little discount with this. I notice violet and lemon. The middle note is lavender, cinnamon, geranium, rose, and the base note is tonka bean and coumarin. So, you do get that little burst of citrus in the beginning. See, I didn't even, I, ugh, I didn't even know it had freaking lemon in it. You get a little bit of lemon. Ugh, this smells absolutely like a candle that I own, like a few candles that I own. And it's nice, but the dry down, it's... It just, you get that sweet, powdery, not too sweet, but a touch of sweet, powdery lavender. Like, oh my God. It's it's just, it's not like a heavy lavender cloud. It's more like a cool lavender cloud. It's more luxury. It's like, it's very luxury in my opinion. Um, I've never smelled no fragrance like this before. And it's just oh, gorgeous. So yeah, so there you go. These are my two favorite lavenders. Mason Lancome and Tom Ford. This is the Lavender's Train On and this is Lavender Extreme. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. And I forgot to, I didn't show you how this one sprays. Let me let it spray. Ooh, look at the mist on that one. So oh, I can't wait to take a bath, a shower and put this on tonight. But yeah, so if you have any comments, please leave me a comment. Hit like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to stop on my page. Um, so these are my two favorite lavenders for the also for the fall and winter time of the year. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe.